Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I am going to be making some of these lovely little spool. Um, it's like a little snippet roll on a spool. Now I got these spools from um, BB Crafts. Now they came in this lovely bag um, and there's four different sizes. Um, I did show you in a, in a previous video but the little diddy diddy ones I thought would make beautiful little um, embellishments, little dingly danglies um, and I'm just loving them. It's like a little mini um, snippet roll on there. Just tiny little bits of your scrap fabric um, and a few beads um, and I just think it's lovely. Now I do love them, I think they're so pretty. Now I've got myself actually a beading needle or oh, I bought some beading needles, these are from Amazon um, this is number 10 and number 13 beading needles now um, that doesn't really mean much to me because I don't know what size beading needles maybe it's the length of them two are a little bit bigger than the other one you know two are big and two are small but this is what it's like it's just a, like a little beading needle I think the eye the eye of the, the needle is the same width as the needle isn't it so took me ages though to thread it I don't have a little thready thing so I need to get one of those and these are some tiny tiny little beads that I had and I could never have I didn't have a needle to actually you know be able to use them to thread them on anything but now I have this one looks a bit like a sort of a boho -y one doesn't it um, which at some point I will make a boho journal but loving this one this is the these are I think this was an inch let's have a little measure yeah that was an inch by just over half an inch or what's that that's just one and a half centimeters or I think that's two and a half centimeters isn't it um, so they're a really nice size and the little diddy diddy ones that's probably half an inch it is half an inch and just over a quarter of an inch so that's nearly one centimeter by about one and a half centimeters so they're quite small but they are lovely and absolutely ideal as little dingly danglies now if you saw my video yesterday I made this and these are I don't know I just think that would look really nice hanging off that little flower um, so I think I might make quite a few of these because they're the sort of things that I would use in my journals my shabby journals um, as little dingly danglies but loving this so what shall we start should we start with a little diddy diddy one all right so I'm going to use that I'm going to use one of these there oh I've got one in here like the little pins with the end on it look for little jewelry findings these are so let's have a look I've got some beads I've got some sequins I did actually buy myself some sequins because I have been um doing the little flowers haven't I so what did I do with the sequins so I did actually go on to Amazon and buy some I've got to stop buying stuff this is really ridiculous I've got to stop myself but I keep wanting to do different projects um, but look at all these they are fabulous colours um, aren't they they are just gorgeous loving them so you've got really really good selection of colours in these and they're not that expensive at all so we've got some golds, we've got some blacks, we've got this beautiful sort of like almost like translucent iridescent, we've got white and we've got silver so we've got some beautiful colours. So that's what I've been trying to sew onto my flowers, well actually I wasn't, I was using my other ones which here, these are the ones that fell on the floor. Um, so I didn't really have much left, so they've got lots of bits of other things in there as well. Um, right let's get on with this so what I am going to do because these are quite wibbly wobbly on there because that's quite a big hole in there so I've got a little bead and most of this stuff actually is probably BB Crafts stuff that I've got I've got a little silver uh, seed bead and then I'm going to pop a bit a little um, a little pink sequin on there if I can let's just pop that in there and that just blocks that hole so the sequin is a really nice size to block that hole because the bead would just go straight through it 
Um, so I'm going to do that again on the top. Let's have a little pink one. Pop that, if I can, through there. My gosh. There we go. And then another little silver bead on top. So look at that. But I do have these little bead caps. Oopsie daisy. Can you see these little bead caps which are lovely. But I'll make one of those in a minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my... Actually I could have probably put this onto a smaller one, couldn't I? Don't really need it that long. Do you think? What do you think? Oh, I may not be able to do the... Do the little um, hoop at the end. Let's just see if that's going to be big enough. I don't know whether it will. That bead was quite big, so maybe if I get a thinner, a squatter one. There's a little one. Gosh, if I can pick it up. What do you think? I'm not sure whether I'll be able to do it with this one. Oh, just look at that. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's get my pliers. It's just a tiny bit too small. But I don't want to waste a big one. There we go. If I can use up this small one. My gosh. Okay. So there we go. So make a little loop. Whatever you've got. Whether you've got little loopy pliers or normal pliers. You can make a little loop. So that's lovely, isn't it? This is the one that I did before on the bigger one. So these are the little bead caps. Now I put this one upside down because these holes are quite big. Can you see? So things will just fall through there. And this, I'm not sure whether I might just pop a little bit of glue gun in there just to stop it sort of like moving about too much. We shall see, but I think they look beautiful, don't they? Okay. That's that little one. So that's lovely, isn't it? So all I'm going to do, let's take a little bit of something. We don't need it that thick, actually. Let's use my smaller scissors. Let's see if I can just rip this. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Now I have sewn this on. I actually sewed that on. Um, but obviously you can just stick it on. Oh, that's the perfect size. So you just need tiny, tiny little bits of fabric. Just take that piece off. So you could just glue this round. That just goes round like that. So what I'm going to do, is going to add a few little bits to this end. So what should we have? You can just have little tiny little scraps. Oops, with my scissors. Just little bits like that. What else have we got? Let's have another little, little bit of lace. We only need a tiny bit like this. What else have we got? A little bit of this, little bit of this pink maybe on there. So all your itty bitty scrappy bits you can use. So let's just pop this on and this on and I think maybe I'll sew that sort of on the end. I'm going to sew it on just to show you what I did. Let's just make a little knot in here. So all as I did, again you don't have to sew, you can um, just stick these on but because I like sewing at the moment I'm just going to just sew these on it's just a little stitch in there oops there we go up just a little straight stitch but I suppose you could probably go in there with a little bit of embroidery thread couldn't you um, and do little things. I think probably be easier on the sort of like the larger bobbin. But I do love these. Let's just go backwards. Let's go back this way. Like this. 
We're going through, there we are. And up through there. Let's see if we'll catch that bit of lace. There we go. Nice and fiddly. Little bit fiddly. But what I'm going to do, oops, don't pull it too tight. I'm going to wrap this around now. Just like that. And then sew this together. Oops, let's just make sure I catch it there. I think they sort of like look a little bit messy then, doesn't it? Look at that. It was like a little little snippet roll. Isn't it fab? So you don't need much fabric for this, just little odds and ends. You must have something. If you're not a fabric person, these are really simple to do. So let's just another little stitch in there. There we go. Hold on to my needle. Pop that back in my needle. My little pin cushion. Oh, we don't need that little bit, do we? I'm going to just snip that little bit off. Look at that. Isn't that just the cutest little snippet roll ever? I'm going to take just a little ball pin and pop that in. And then we have a little dingly dangly. Isn't that just gorgeous? Okay, so now I have those. Shall we make a bigger one? Shall I show you how we'll make something to go on this one, shall we? Well, actually, I think I might. I am just going to pop just a tiny bit of glue without making too much of a mess. Just in there to hold that in place. Should we do the top as well? Just a little bit, just in the little hole. And then that just stops it wibbly wobbling around. There we go. Super cute. Lovely. Right, shall we find something to wrap around this one? Let's have a little bit of this. I do like this fabric. So, wrap that around. Let's wrap it around and then just tear this piece off. Don't need that bit. Okay, that's our little snippet. Should we have? Should we have a little bit of this at the end? This is what I took the, my roses off, um, and it's got sort of like a bit of glue gun on there. So it's just a little bit hard. So I think I'm going to pop that on the end. Let's just have. I just no, I think this is just going to fall apart. Shall we have that a bit closer? And then that can go on the top like that. A little bit of shiny. Let's have a little bit of shiny on there. So fun making little things. I know it's a little bit difficult sometimes to get them all on but that looks good doesn't it? Shall we have a little bit of this pink in there? There we go. What do you reckon will that go in there? Okay I think that's probably enough. Shall I Right, let's get on. Oh, I need to thread my needle. That's a task and a half. I'm just going to use a little bit of this pink cotton thread. Now, I did find this in my stash. I've also got um, gold. I've got a few other colours as well, and it's just so pretty. Um, it's amazing what you can find when you have a little rummage in your 
in your um, craft room, isn't it? And all your little bits and pieces. Right, let's just make a little knot. So sewing that in there would look nice as well, wouldn't it? Okay, let's just take that off. I'm just going to... A few little stitches. I would probably just pop a little bit of... Um, PVA glue or something or tacky glue or something to stick these down or if you've got fabric glue you could use fabric glue to stick them down oops oops gosh oh fingers and thumbs where did that piece of cotton go Is that underneath That one. Oh, what have I done? I've just gone through that. Oh, never mind. Don't do it how I'm doing it. Do it nice and neatly. But again, I'm just using the pink cotton. But again, you could use a, a contrasting one. Like the embroidery threads. Would look really pretty, wouldn't they? few little stitches in here so I'm going to put that on the end because that's what I did with this one and it sort of like wraps around the end piece there which looks nice doesn't it oops there we go we can add another little bit with our little Okay, so we need to wrap this bit around like that. Just wrap that round so that almost comes around, doesn't it? So let's just sew this together without getting all caught up. You could probably sew little extra bits on here as well, couldn't you? Pop up through there. I'm starting on another... Well, I sort of try to start on making another little um, slow stitch one yesterday or last night. Not quite sure what I'll use it for. It might make a nice big journal cover. Okay, look at that. I think that looks a bit scruffy on there. Let's cut some of these little bits off. Look at that. They look great, don't they? I want to add something else though. What else can we add? Should we add a little bit of little daisy? I think I'll be able to rip that. Let's pop a little, little flower on there. Oh, have I gone in? Oh, there we go. God, I've got all my cotton tangled now. What do you reckon? There we go. There we go. Oh look, I've got a big knot. Gosh. There we are. That's because I've got the cotton doubled. It's probably easier to just have a little single strand, isn't it? Look at these. So cute. But like I said, just stick them on if you haven't got the time or the patience or the dexterity to sew little things like this. You can just use a little bit of glue. Look at that. I love it. Right. Anything else? I think that's probably it. So I'm going to overdo it, aren't I?
Okay. Stick that one in there. Look at that. Actually, you could probably um, sew some little sequins on there as well. But I'm loving this top bit and the bottom bit. Let's get a little bulb pin. Open that up and hang that off. Oh, I suppose if you had a little hoop in loop in that one, you could do a little double one, couldn't you? I just think they are gorgeous. Shall we make one more? Because I do love them. This is a little half one that came. I think it was just a bit of a broken one. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to make a bigger one. I wonder if I make a double. Shall I pop a loop in each end? What do you think? I'm going to have to cut this off. Let's give it a go. Let's pop this in there. little loop. Let's just bring that round. What should we have on the end? Shall I pop a little sequin? Oh, I need a little bead first. Pop a little bead, little sequin on there to hold that on like that. Oops, I can't pick up my sequins. There we go. Little bead. I'm not quite sure what size these beads are. Little seed beads. They're not tiny, tiny seed beads. These are tiny. No, they're not. These are tiny, tiny ones, which I ordered from BB Crafts. But now I've got my beading needle, I will be able to use them. So let's just make a loop in here let's push that up nice and tight there we go let's close that up a little bit right so that will hang on there or should we make another little oh look we've got two pink ones so i could hang that off there so we could have a dizzy dizzy little snippet roll couldn't we maybe we'll pop a little bit of lace on there Maybe we'll just have lace around it. What do you think? That would look quite nice, wouldn't it? Take that bit off. Oh, will that fit? I quite like this one, but I think it's going to be too... That's going to be too thick. I don't want to chop too much off because it will fall apart. So we need something to go underneath, don't we? So I think to go with it, oh look, let's have a little bit of this underneath. That should work. Too wide, a little bit. They're only tiny, tiny. The only trouble is I didn't put a linen. Oh, that's my beading needle. That's no good. Let's just. Oh gosh. Let's make a knot in it, shall we? There we go. Let's start again. Pop that around. Hold on. And then let's just pop the little knot inside there we go look at that what do you think do you think it's a bit too much not really is it Oh, 
That's so cute. Okay. Shall we add a few beads? Seeing I've got my beading needle, we could add a few beads to this one, couldn't we? I'm going to just... through there. Just bring this down a little bit. Oops. Just so it's a little bit tighter. There we go. Some of you lovelies have said that you've been doing some slow stitching. Um, and I'm just finding it really nice at the moment. It's a bit difficult to do because my arms are stretched out to get under the camera. But um, I'm just loving just doing this little bit of stitching. Let's pop that in there. I'm actually going to put, I think, just a couple of tiny little beads on there. Off, pop this back in my little needle thing. Okay, lovely. I would like to use some of these. Now I'm going to pop those in there. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're good for time. Okay, so look at those. Look how diddy diddy those are. So I'm just hoping that my needle will go through them it's very 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 small it's just oh my gosh i need a flat mat really oh look they go on perfect and come off right off the other end so i need to do a little knot in there okay let's just in there, do another little knot so it doesn't come undone, pick up a couple of these, now these are really really tiny, it's probably easier to, for me to see this, I need um, a bit of a flatter pick me up thing don't I, little mat, so these are tiny But they give that tiny little bit of sparkle in there, don't they? Just like that. I'm just picking four up at a time because I think it will be a little bit tedious to do one at a time, wouldn't it? Let's just put that on there. Can you see? I don't know whether you can see properly on there. Probably not the best colour for you to see actually. They look like little bubbles. They look like little seed bubbles. Pop that in. Just gives it a little bit of bling on there. Oh, I'm so pleased that I got this beading needles. This. I think I did I got them from Amazon and they were like two euros or something and because I've got Amazon Prime they came you know it's free postage so they ended up being really really inexpensive oh my gosh I'm stuck why's that stuck oh my gosh I'm stuck in there oh there we go These are very, very thin and they're very, very bendy as well. I don't know whether beading needles, that's how they are. I suppose so, because you can't make them very thick, can you? Okay. What are we doing for time? Okay. Okay, let's get this in there. 
few more and I think that's probably it. Don't want to bend my needle. Oh look at that. Oh let's just do Oh see Daisy. What's that piece off? Have I got it all caught? There we are. Okay, one more thing of beads and I think that will be it. Just pop that through there. Pick up another four. I would like to actually do some beading in the evening, some of these sort of things, but um, I think I need a table. It's not the sort of thing I would trust myself to do in front of the television because I will have beads everywhere everywhere but where I want them okay it's just another little knot in there oh, that will do that should do oops let's just pop that in there snip that off pop this in my little Pin cushion, that's what I was thinking of. Look at that, I'm hoping you can see those. I'll do a close up afterwards. Not the neatest, but it is really, really pretty. And I think it would look lovely on here. Do you think I need a little jump ring? Probably, unless I hook that on there. No, I think a jump ring. Two seconds. I need one of these. Just a little diddy diddy one. This will do. Put that in there. These would make great earrings actually, wouldn't they? Can you imagine having a little, tiny little earrings? If you know somebody that does sewing, or does, oopsie daisy. Oh, I love it. Oh. Look at that, that's fabulous. Oh, look at that. I do like that. That's so lovely. That's definitely going to go on my spine of my journal. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love it. Okay, now I could just carry on making these and making them. Look at them. I might just make one more. Shall I just make one more? Look at these. I don't normally like to do... Um, um, what are they called? Lots of things at once. Um, but these sort of things I would use in my shabby journals. Mass making, that's what I was thinking of. But I think this is something that I would quite easily mass make. So I put a little bit of fabric underneath that. Pink. Do I have another little, a little bit already off? No. Should I wrap that round? What do you think? I could sort of go around it like that, couldn't it? Let's tear it off. I don't know whether I need all of this. What do you think? What do you think? Shall I just use a little bit of it? Oopsie daisy. Let's just use a little bit. I do like these little bits at the end. I think they look really nice. It sort of like finishes it off a little bit. Take a little, little bit of this, nice and shiny bits. Let's have, I've got a tiny bit. This is quite nice. This is like little, um, little bit of lace. Let's have a little bit of that. This is going to be a bit of a fiddly one, I think. 
Do you think that's enough? I think that's probably enough, isn't it? On here. Oh, that's on there quite sturdy. Right, I'm going to... Is there enough cotton on here? No. I'm going to have to thread another little bit a minute. I really need to get a little needle threader. Um, because I'm not very good at threading. Especially the beading ones. The beading ones are so, so small. Maybe I'll have this darker one at the end instead of that one. Then they'll be different. Right, I'm going to sew these on to this as I go. It might be a little bit easier. What do you think? Just a few little stitches in as I go along. A little bit of this. Oops, whoopsie daisy. Where'd it go? There we are. Oh, that feels quite thick. There we go. Goes on there. Love it. I actually like them being sewn on actually. You can't really see the um, stitch marks. Let's just put that. Should we go over the top of it? Like that. I need to learn all the names of the stitches for slow stitching. I believe that book that I brought, I haven't had a proper look, but I think at the back I did see that they have it's the Tilly Rose book and it's beautiful. Um, she's got some stitches in there. I'm not very good at um, naming stitches. Okay, let's pop a little bit of this on. Not sure whether I coloured these or, or should I put that little bit on too? Or um it came like that. Let's put it there. Go. Yeah, maybe I should have used that glittery um, thread on this one. Would have looked quite pretty, wouldn't it? Let's just go this way. Gosh, there we are. I think this one's a little bit messy. But then snippet rolls are quite messy, aren't they? Just your little snippets of things. What's that? Oh, I thought that was a piece of my cotton, but it's not. It's just off one of the fabrics there. Let's just snip that off a minute. Else it's going to confuse me. Do you think? Shall I add this? Let's add that there. Oops. Maybe I should do one of the big ones. Just as sort of like a little... Um, not that I have to use it for anything. I was wondering, maybe I could make like a little pin cushion out of one, couldn't I? What do you think? Where are they? Just a minute, if you did a nice little snippet roll around there, 
and then did a little puffy thing on the top you could have a nice little pin cushion that would be quite nice wouldn't it something a little bit different in. Oh, I love these. There we go. This is a nice, nice relaxing video, isn't it, today? There we go. I think that's probably, that will do. Let's just pop a little, little stitch in there. Okay, now let's find a middle for this. Let's chop that off. Put that in my little thing. Look at that. Just so lovely, aren't they? Right, let's get. Oh my gosh. Andy always tells me I am so clumsy. Um, and I really am. Let's just leave them like that. Let's make them look pretty. There we are. Okay, let's get one of these. Oops, a little bit of a bent one. That one's already got a loop in it. I don't think I need that though. Okay, is that going to be big enough? Yeah. Can you see the size of the holes? They are really, really big on these. So, what are we going to have? Can we pop a little bead? I think I got new these little. What do you reckon? I'm going to put them so they go inside the hole. Can you see? So it just looks like a little flower. So it's just around the other way. Let's hold that because that hole looks even bigger. What's this one? Let's pop this one on. in that hole there's a big bead in there there we go I think I might oops dear I think I might have to glue this one as well didn't do that loop very well did I? Not sure whether I could actually wrap something around these because the little metal bits. Because I'm gonna have to do that again. I didn't do that very well. Let's do it with this. Make it a little bit tighter. There we go. Oops. Okay, that's tighter. Actually, maybe I should have just done that up tighter and then it's going right in. Lovely, look at that. They're fabulous, actually. You could actually give this a little bit of a sort of whitewash as well, if you wanted to, to have a different look to them. Let's find if I got a little spare one of these. Pop that on there. And we've got another little dingly dangly. Love them. I absolutely love them. I'll probably sew some this double one. It's beautiful. Like I've got a little um, glass bead on there. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? I think I will probably sew a few beads onto these um, as well. Make a few more little ones. So there we go, guys. That is a little um, show what I've done. Oh, gosh, I'm stuck. There we go with these little um, spools. I think they are just beautiful, aren't they? But, like I said, you could make a little pair of matching earrings would look beautiful, wouldn't they? So, definitely gonna be sitting here making a few more. So thank you so, so much for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Um, I'll pop a link down to everything that I can remember that I've used in this video. Um, for you to have a look but I'll do a close-up of these at the end of the video as well all right guys thank you so so much for joining me take care stay safe and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.